Um, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is another video we're gonna be talking about a sweet three. Um, inside of Megan's amazing new life. Um, how she celebrated breaking free from royals, the date nights with Harry and doting on baby Archie. So this here picture, she looks happy for, she looks happy. The other thing I wanna talk about is, did you guys hear about Amanda Bynes being pregnant? Um, I was basically, I wasn't about Amanda Bynes, I was basically shocked. Um, for those of you who don't know, I don't know, I have my mask on, guys, so don't be freak out. Um, I was kind of shocked. Like, I was reading this when I was going to go visit my dad. And I was like, wow, she's pregnant. She looks different. Um, I don't know if that's a tattoo on her right there, the heart. I don't know if that's a tattoo. Um, I know she's been going through um, a lot. Um, so, um, I mean, I wish it about, I was kind of shocked. Um, I kind of grew up in the 90s. Well, I was born in the 80s, but, um, I was up I was born at the end of the 80s. <laughs> so, um, in the 90s, I grew up watching, you know, a lot of her shows that she um, was in. Um, I, you know, watch a lot of the 90s shows. Um, so, I can't remember what shows she was on, but I, I would watch her in a lot of movies. And when after what you know happened with her in um her, her addiction um and after why i didn't hear nothing from her you know um i didn't hear nothing from her in like in the tabloids or you know in magazines so i was pretty shocked that she was pregnant she met her i don't know what she called him but boyfriend in treatment so I think that my advice that I would give Amanda is that she should have waited until she was like sober enough to um, to start a relationship with somebody when she was like sorority you know when she was sober um, I know that she showed it because you know she's pregnant she's carrying a baby um, but I think she should have, like, waited. That's my advice. Is I think she should have waited until she was ready, until, you know, she, you know, was committed to the program, you know, finished the program, uh, finished, you know, the rehab, whatever. I, um, I, me personally, I would have waited, you know, because I think that what you, um, when you have an addiction and you go to rehab and you come out um you know you come out a better person and i think that um you have to keep on working on yourself you know seeking therapy and maybe therapy is not you know um not for everyone you know um it might work for some, but not for all. So, I mean, if, if you are seeking therapy, kudos to you because, you know, maybe you need a, a listening ear. And I'm not trying to be like a therapist or anything, but like I said, I mean, personally, I would have waited in, until like maybe like two years into my sobriety. Um, if, you know, um, if you're addicted to something like alcohol whatever um 
or addicted to painkillers, whatever. I would wait at least two years or three years. You know, I would add, you know, at least I said three years because I'm, you know, still freshly sober. And it gives you time to love yourself and, and really find who you are, like, as a person. So, um, you know, if there are... If you have an addiction, it, they, you know, not to be ashamed of, you know, um, I'm not judging you, you know, if you're seeking help, you know, congratulations, um, because that's the first step admitting that you have a problem and you want to get help. So, I'm, I'm happy for men to mind. Um, I don't know if you guys were great, what I, what I was saying is that, that she should have waited and I, um, read um, that a lot of the comments people saying that she should have waited like you know it was too soon I think it was too soon I think she should have waited until she was physically ready and mentally for this new challenge that she's facing in her life and she's gonna be a mom so I think that you know um, you have to be and I think I said this in my 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 old videos is talking about this, you know, kids, whatever. And I know some of you are thinking, um, well, Rosa, when are you going to be ready to have a baby? And I already explained this before. Um, but I think I tell myself is I have to be mentally, physical, emotionally, you know, um, mentally, physically, emotionally. So those three things, mentally, physical, and emotional, is I have to be ready for the end financially. So, um, yeah. So what I mean by physical is that my, my body has to be physically ready to, you know, to have a baby, you know, like see if my body could take a, a pregnancy, that's what, you know, I mean. Um, so, mentally is, I have to be, like I said, mentally is, I have to be ready mentally with all the changes of pregnancy, the, the weight gain, um, the morning sickness and all that, you know. My body's stretching out, my body's changing. I have to you know, mentally be, you know, ready for that. And all, you know, it also involves it physically is, physically my body's gonna be changing, my body's gonna, I'm growing a human, my stomach is gonna get bigger. I'm gonna be, you know, emotional. So, you know, that's why um, I say emotional because a lot of pregnant women, they go through, you know, a lot of emotions while they're pregnant and also, you know, postpartum, you know, depression, you know, is real. So that's why I had to mentally prepare myself. Okay, if I'm, if, is this a moment where I want to get pregnant? Um, you know, this is a moment that I want to have a baby. So that's why, you know, I tell, I want to tell women that if you're not ready, you know, for the changes, I would wait, you know. And there my woman be like, why are you gonna wait? You know, your 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 clock is ticking. Like your biological clock is ticking. And I know that, but for me, like I'm still young, and like I'm not ready. And you know, so um, kudos to you know women who are pregnant now. Please be safe with this virus. And just protect you, you know, your own born baby. Um, but that's advice I would give to young women and young girls that you have to be mental, emotional, physically, and financially ready to have a baby. And it's no joke, guys. Like, it's no joke. Like, I. Oh guys, this one. Okay, my timer went off, guys. Um, to remove this, so I remember what I meant. But it's no joke, guys, because I be like around like my niece and nephews, 
and they're like a handful guys and after that like I'm just tired and I just want to relax and it's like nope so like that's why like I don't want to have kids right now because I know what I'm gonna deal with on my own so when I'm ready um you know when I get married first um I will um have a baby and um if I if I can't physically get pregnant um then I would love to you know adopt, uh, adopt the baby um so but that's not in the works yet guys so um I wish Amanda Vines the very best and I wish Megan and Prince Harry the very best as well and everyone please be safe and i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you guys give this a thumbs up until next time bye bye